Okay, now let's talk about um, horizontal shifts. So here we have our more formalized um, definitions of what goes on. In here, this says we have y equals f of x plus h if x, uh, h is greater than zero, so some positive number. This causes a horizontal shift left h units. If we are subtracting h inside with x, now again it says h is greater than zero, but that means you're subtracting a positive number, not a negative number. Then we have a horizontal shift right of h units. Okay, so when we add or subtract something inside the function, not outside, remember outside created a vertical shift. This is inside the function. This is what causes a horizontal shift. So let's look and see what we're talking about here. Okay, I've already went ahead and drawn in our base function or our principal or library of functions, um, the x squared. So this is what our function uh, f of x equals x squared looks like. And again, um, to get some nice points on here, I just took some x values and squared them to get the y's. So negative 1 squared is positive 1 negative 2 squared is positive 4, and so on and so forth. What I want to do now is I want to create the graph of f of x equals x minus 2 squared. Now here I am subtracting a positive number. So according to our definition here, when we are subtracting off a number, we should get a horizontal shift write that many units. What this does to the graph is it just takes each one of these points along this curve and it moves it over two units. So each one of these points, and I'm just using these few that I've drawn in here as reference points. Um, let me get each one of those plotted over here. Now this graph, and I realize that my drawing capabilities are not the best, but just hang with me here. This, subtracting this 2 inside with x, caused a horizontal shift to the right 2 units. Now the opposite of that would be what if we wanted to graph x plus 2 quantity squared. Well, when we add something, a positive number, inside with x, it actually causes a, vert, a horizontal shift to the left. So that's going to take my original uh, graph here of x squared, and it's going to scoot each one of these points over two units to the left. Oops, take each one of those. That's not working very well for me. And this one, and this one. That's what happens when you try to get in a hurry. Okay, so now our graph looks something like this. Now, the way that I keep these straight, and this may, is going to take some practice, but if you'll remember our vertical shifts, uh, vertical shifts going up and down were things like we did um, x squared plus 2 and to go down we had x squared minus 2. When we do vertical shifts they are exactly what you think they would be. Positive raises them up, negative raises them down. When we do horizontals it's opposite. The subtracting a number actually moves it in the positive direction. Um, adding a positive number actually moves it in the negative direction. So somehow you need to really work on those to get those straight so that you could see kind of what's going to happen to this graph before you ever have to start using your calculator to graph it.